Diet and a lack of exercise are usually blamed for childhood obesity, but a new study out this morning says not getting enough sleep could also impact weight. Researchers find kids who get less rest early on are more likely to be obese by the age of seven. The report's lead author, Dr. Elise Tavares, is chief of general pediatrics at Mass General Hospital for Children in Boston. Dr. Tavares, good morning. Good morning. I know as a mother of, of three kids, I was told early on they've got to get lots of sleep, but you usually think about that in terms of behavior. What did right. you find about how it's linked to obesity? So we studied over a thousand children in Boston from six months to about seven years of age and found that children who chronically did not get the recommended amounts of sleep in those first seven years had two times the odds of obesity when they were around school age at seven years. And they were also much more likely to have a higher accumulation of body fat and accumulation of body fat around their abdomen, which is some of the most hazardous fat that we can accumulate in that distribution. Now, how is it that the lack of sleep causes that effect? Well, it's a very good question. And most of the studies uh, come from adult literature that shows that when we don't sleep enough, we have disruptions in hormones that make us hungry and that make us feel full. But in children, we rely a lot, and children rely a lot on their parents and their routines in their homes, and it's likely that the same routines that contribute to not sleeping well or having uh, poor bedtime routines are also contributing to adverse um, meal times or decisions about meals that aren't the healthiest. So advice. the bottom line is if you as an adult have bad habits, your kids probably will have the bad habits too. Exactly. So how much sleep should, should they be getting, and does it have to be consecutive? Right, so our sleep needs vary by age. Um, and you know, for our children around six to two years of six months to two years of age, yeah. the recommended amounts of sleep is about twelve hours. Twelve hours. Twelve yeah. hours. Um, from three to four years, it's at least eleven hours, and from five to six years, at that school age, five to seven is about ten hours of sleep. And you can imagine that there are good reasons for parents to want their children to sleep better. That means better sleep for themselves, and no one can question or, or doubt that that's a good thing all around. And, and Dr. Tavares, since there is this link, you believe, between lack of sleep and obesity later in age, what's the advice for parents? Because it is always hard to get your kids to bed at night. Routine, right. or what's the best advice? So that's the, that's the perfect, and that's the number one routine. 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 Routines, bedtime routines. You know, I, I was mentioning, I, I sometimes get out of the hospital at 10 o'clock at night, and I see children in the pharmacy or in the supermarket that really should be in bed. Um, do you say something to them? I do not. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, a doc that. I'm a doctor, and your kids should be in bed. <laughs> I try not to judge. but. Um, <laughs> You know, that's probably the most simple message we can give. And then the other two are, are fairly simple to modify. Reducing or eliminating caffeinated beverages or late in the day. Yeah. And then I have to say, high-tech distractions from bedrooms. Yeah. It used to be televisions, but yes. now, you know, yeah, we have 10, 11-year-olds who sleep with their smartphones under their pillows yes. so they don't miss text messages at night. Do something about that, too. Try to get rid of all those high-tech distractions in bedrooms, yeah. for sure. Parents can Doctor. control that. Thank you, Dr. Thank Tavares. you, Doctor. Thank you.